Hey there sweet friends, welcome to today's video. As you can see here, it's a DIY Valentine's party video. I'm so glad that you're here today. And if you're new, welcome. I'd love for you to stick around. Be sure to hit that red subscribe button down below and let me know where you're from. Please be sure to say hi, I love to hear from you. So we are gonna get started in today's video. I hope that it gives you all the inspiration to throw your next Valentine's party. Hey there sweet friends, welcome back. In today's video, as you can see here, I am planning a party for my family. It was a DIY Valentine's Day party and these kits I purchased from Amazon and basically I'm just using uh, two foam boards and I've already fluffed out all the tissue flowers. I spared you that boring video footage, but um, basically I just fluffed out all the flowers and I did this in my a bridal shower video that I did for our new daughter um, and basically on this one what I wanted to do is just add a little bit more depth and texture to it so I saw these kits on Amazon and they're the the <laughs> I'm stuttering again they are the honeycomb balls and then the like the lanterns and then these like the circular fans I just thought it would add some definition and texture and just a lot of fun and this looks so beautiful up on the wall and I'm using these velcro command strips to attach this to the wall um, now while I thought this would be a good idea and it was a good idea to lay it out on the floor it is different once you put this up on the wall um, I did try hot gluing some of the pom-pom flowers um, onto the board for some reason it wasn't really sticky maybe because I already had the board on the wall but what I ended up doing was just using thumbtacks to adhere everything because I did want to save like the fans and the lanterns and the honeycomb uh, balls just so that way I can reuse them for another occasion so that's what I used to adhere it and this one uh, the first part I started putting up at night and then the second the bottom half um, I did that on a different occasion so this video is filmed on different days I just needed to give myself a little bit extra time with me working full-time um, you know it doesn't allow me a lot of time at home so I wanted to just be sure and start on this ahead of time but I absolutely love this wall you guys will have to let me know what you think about it and if you think you would do something like this for a party or a special occasion in your home or for a loved one
Alright, so as I mentioned, once I am all done with the cake pops, the, um, I still let them sit in the freezer and I've melted my chocolate, more milk chocolate, as you saw um, in my previous video, I was trying to think here, um, on how to make a chocolate covered strawberry bouquet. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I will put it up in the comments or excuse me, up in the top here, the top right corner, so that way you can see how I melt the chocolate, but I just dip these in there, and then again, I am just going over with my piping bag, I put some chocolate in there, cut a little um, hole in there, just to the thickness of the chocolate swirl line that I like, and then for these, I'm the wafers, I'm using my tweezers because they are kind of delicate they don't have a flavor to them so just an FYI but they look so adorable and I thought I would just do chocolate on milk chocolate for the decor um, just to kind of keep it simple since the wafer hearts added a really pretty Valentine's touch All right, and on to the next treat that we made for our family. My daughter helped me a lot. Um, she, me and her both made the sugar cookies and she was definitely a big help to me. I greatly appreciate all her help. So here I'm just showing you the tip that I made and I put that up against the pastry bag and I cut the size of the hole that I need that will fit the tip in. And of course I use my cup as you can see here and I'm adding in all of my frosting. I always make my own uh, buttercream frosting. I feel like I added a little bit too much pink in here, but it's okay once the frosting set, it did lighten up a little bit. Um, it definitely looks a lot more hot pink on camera. And again, I'm using my parchment paper. I always like to lay that down when I'm decorating or making goodies. Um, so basically with the Wilton tip that I'm using, I'm just gonna first start off by giving the cookie an outline all around it with the frosting. Um, You'll just see here what I'm going to end up doing, but then I make it look to where it has like the line down the middle for the lips, and then I just use straight lines all the way across. Looks really cute, and then I add some really cute sugar sprinkles on just to give it a nice little finishing touch.
two, one of my most favorite things to make my family is chocolate dipped strawberries. So as I mentioned, I put together a video on how I do each of the steps to prepare my strawberries to dip them in chocolate. Um, if you're not familiar with that, what I do is I start off by rinsing off all of my strawberries. I pat them gently with a paper towel, making sure all the water is off. Then I use double toothpicks um, for the center. I cut up my chocolate and I place it in this container. I melt it in 30 second intervals in my microwave uh, for a total of about either between a minute and a half or two minutes, stirring in between each time. I let my chocolate sit for just a couple of minutes so that way it's not really hot when I dip my strawberries in. I did the same for the white chocolate, poured that in a pastry bag. And as you can see here on the side, I'm just doing a simple swirl or straight line across my strawberries using very quick uh, motion across. And then I'm just using some sprinkles on the side or adding in some sprinkles on the side. You'll want to add the sprinkles in when the chocolate is still wet so it can stick. Something special about you. So for this um, decor piece, I'm trying to think of what I call it, um, but a mirror or glass art, I asked my daughter if she could write this on here, Love is Sweet. She is super talented, um, she has many, many talents, and this one that I asked her to do with a really pretty writing, I do not have that talent. I always wanted to have that really cute cheerleader, bubble handwriting, never had that, but thank goodness my daughter is super talented. So. She just freehands this and I absolutely love it, but I hope, I know you can't really see it right now just because of the glare, but in a bit I'll give you an overview of how it looks, but it says love is sweet and she just did an amazing job. All right, so on to the next decor piece that I did. I actually, this is not my own idea. Um, there is a YouTuber that I watch and her YouTube handle, I think it's Jessica Griffin or Giffen. Um, I saw her do this um, when she was decorating for Valentine's Day and I thought, shoot, why didn't I think of that? But anyway, good thing for YouTubers because you get to gather all these really neat ideas. Um, so basically, I bought this balloon kit from Hobby Lobby and I decided to use the smaller balloons in there to add on to these hoops that I have um, used before in my daughter's 18th birthday party. I've saved them and thought I would just use these for tabletop decor. I was kind of stumped on what to add on to the tabletops. So glad I saw this, um, but it is really cute. So once I've aired up my balloons, I'm then gonna tie them into twos as you can see here. Then once I've tied up all my balloons into twos like that, you just tie them around. Um, you're gonna get a, this. They call these quads, but you're gonna get two of the same type of balloons tied and you just kind of twist them around so they can stick together. And then I'm gonna add this on to the embroidery hoop. That's what this hoop is. You can kind of see the ends right there. So I am just adding these balloons onto one side of the hoop. Super simple, nothing intimidating. You gotta kind of um, play around with it a little bit. Some of the balloons might come off. That's what happened to me. But um, yeah, this is super cute and really, really simple. You set my world on fire. You're my heart's desire. I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay or take me away. So the next thing that I wanted to decorate with or add in was a balloon garland to put over my mirror where I will be having all of our sweets at. And what I decided to do here I is 
instead of just airing up all the balloons and putting them in a pile which I started to do I just saw as I aired up one balloon I would add it on to the balloon tape that the kits provide that way it would just kind of help me stay focused and adding in every single color I wanted to do an ombre effect so this definitely did help so the next time I make one of these this is the same technique I will use and here once we're all done my daughters are helping me um, put this up I did use some um, balloon the little string to kind of hold it up and then I just used the th thumbtacks to hold back the string um, but I thought this came out really really cute. This is one of my favorite decor pieces I did keep this up for quite a few days afterwards and I'm like, all right Let me go ahead and take it down now, but it is super cute. I as I mentioned, I love the way this came out I don't know what it is you do. I just want you. I just need you. I don't know what it is you do. I just want to love you. I just want to hold you. just want to be with you till we grow old. Just tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. All right, so now for the final things that I'm doing, I'm just putting together my dessert trays. Now this X and O letters, or these X and O letters, I bought them from Hobby Lobby, and I asked my husband to help me just to cut out the tops of these. Um, that's what you do for the letters if you wanna use them like for a charcuterie style board, um, such as what I'm doing here. And then I'm just adding in this decorative, the little crinkle cut paper. And then I am just adding in all of the desserts. I just thought this was a really cute touch. Um, I did this for my daughter's birthday. I did an actual charcuterie, um, a letter board for her. I have that over on my Instagram. You can follow me there at Spring Soulful Home. I like to just kind of show you guys little things that I do for my family. Um, but anyway, as you can see, I'm just adding in all the desserts and I love this and my family enjoyed this too. It was really neat just to kind of grab our desserts from there. But this is super, super cute. Time, don't you know that I would cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Forever. Forever. Friends, I want to thank you so much for all your support. It always means so very much to me. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful, blessed Valentine's Day. Hug your family extra tight, friends, and just love on them as much as you can. I love you all so very much. We'll see you again on my next video. Bye-bye, friends.